Hi, I'm Musik and you're watching another episode of Artist Life. Today I'll be sharing with you some of my thoughts in regards to color. How you can make secondary colors, what are the differences between warm and cool colors, so on and so forth. So if you're ready, let's start. It's very important to know how to mix color if you want to create beautiful paintings that will be cherished by friends and family. Yes, it's true that you can always buy a tube for every color that you wish to use, but seriously, who would want to spend all that money if there was an easier way? So let's start by knowing our three primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. All secondary colors can be made from these colors. Secondary colors are orange, purple, and green. Mix red and yellow for orange, red and blue for purple, then yellow and blue for green. Well, as you can see, this is my 8x10 canvas panel and I went ahead and uh, painted the canvas with acrylic blue and also um, I did the drawing on top of it. So the drawing, as you could see uh, on the left side of the screen, it's a lemon and a red pepper. And here I'm using cadmium red, cadmium yellow, and ultramarine blue. Now, just to talk about these different colors on the color wheel, these two colors here, cadmium red and cadmium yellow, are considered to be warm colors. Ultramarine blue is considered to be a cooler blue because it's closer to purple. And also I'm using ivory black and titanium white. So this is my color palette and from these three colors I will be uh, making my secondary colors and also I will be desaturating my colors which I have not talked about in this, um, in this episode. But desaturating means to gray down to make the color less bright than what it actually is. So I did talk about um, cools and warm colors um, just a few minutes ago. And when you look at the pepper on your left side, uh, this pepper, the color of the pepper is, is cooler than, than, than the color that I'm going to be using. So, so I guess I am a little limited with the, with the colors. So I will try to do my best with, with my limitation here. Uh, I am going to start with the lemon. So if you notice, you have a highlight on the lemon, you have your dark tones and then eventually the shadow. So I would like to start with my light tones. So I am taking cadmium yellow with my titanium white. And I am going to be just painting this area, if you notice. Okay. So keep in mind that I am pulling my paint on the canvas so there's no uh, pushing going on. I guess the difference between pulling and pushing, if you notice the way I'm holding the brush, it's uh, constantly this motion versus this motion here, okay? All right, so. This area here, if you notice, is going to be lighter. So all I have to do is take my titanium white and while this is wet, start to apply the lighter shade of yellow here, okay? So obviously I am using a lot more paint just to cover up this part. Okay. And when I pull, 
it will blend and soften with the yellow that I have, meaning this area here. Okay, so the trick is to constantly apply the paint and cover up the canvas, just like that. Now I am focusing on my shapes, even when I apply my darks and my lights. Okay, so the complement of yellow is uh, purple. So if you look here, I will be using purple. So I have cadmium red right there and the ultramarine blue right here. Okay, like this. And if I get this a little too dark, obviously what I can do is add more cadmium red. Okay, so here's my purple. Wipe my brush. Now I don't need a lot here. Just whatever was in my brush. So if you notice, this dark tone that I got resembles gray. Okay, and I am going to take that color and start applying that right here. All right, so let's continue here. Okay, so there's this little cat yellow here, and now. I need to take this gray and also apply that here. Okay, so here I have my light tone. That's where the lights hitting the lemon and then everything else is the color of the lemon so if you do this correctly you will have a painting that looks three dimensional right away okay so i don't necessarily need to finish painting this lemon completely to um to move on to the pepper i can move on to the pepper right now but there's one more thing I will need to do. And by the way, um, I can leave this, let it dry just a little bit, and then come back and do some refinements to this. Okay, so I am ready to start with my pepper. Now, um, if you notice the color of the pepper, um, it's a cooler red than obviously the red that I'm using. The red that I'm using is cadmium red. So on the color wheel, uh, that is a warmer red than what the pepper is. So we are going to stay with the cad red. I don't want to introduce alizarin at this point because once again, the purpose of this painting is to limit ourselves with just the warm colors that we have, exception of ultramarine blue, which is uh, in this case, cooler. So let's start. Before I do anything, I just want to quickly outline this, my drawing, so that you can see my drawing. So it'll be more visible to you. Okay, now, um, noticing that the dark tone um, is on the right side of the pepper, what I would like to do is take my cadmium red and just start applying my reds. Okay, so again, this red that I'm using is quite bright and also warmer than, or I should say different, then uh, obviously the elizarin red that I need. 
but we are going to do with what we have right now and let's see if we can improve the color of this what would happen if i were to take ultramarine blue along with my cad red so obviously this is what i'm looking at here and use that color okay so this is dark now again i was using ultramarine blue with my cad red Okay, while it's wet, I can take the ultramarine blue and just try to work that in to the color that I have. It feels weird being limited uh, with the colors, but it's not an impossibility to create a interesting uh, painting. So, and that is what I'm experiencing here. Um, because I don't have all the necessary colors on the color wheel, uh, like Elizran, Prussian, Thalo. Okay, so right here is going to be a little darker, so let's just apply that shade. Okay, so I'm going to take Cadmium Red. Again, let's bring that over here. And right here. Okay, so all this is cadmium red. And let's not forget this top area. Okay, so right now I have two tones, dark and middle tone. So the middle tone is my red that you see. I can always take the white and use this color. You notice I'm taking cat, red, white. I can use this color to start creating these lighter shades. So right here would probably be a little lighter. So I'll just start with where the highlight is. Okay, so now let's make that stem. So So I have yellow with ultramarine blue. Now I did have red in my brush, so that red is, uh, is acting as my complement, obviously, to the green. So I'm going to take that, put it right there loosely. Okay, and then I could always darken it. For example, right here should be darker. Right here should be darker. Okay, now I like to start with the background. So, ultramarine blue. In this case, um, to gray down the color of blue, I need um, orange, okay? So if I work with this orange, it's really not going to... Um, so if I apply the orange here in this ultramarine blue, it's really not going to give me um, the exact color that I'm looking for. So the exact color that I can get for the cloth is 
by using black. Okay, so as you saw, I took the ultramarine blue and the black. And then let's take a little bit of white just to see what we have. Okay, so now this is the color that I can work with, but still it's not exact. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this red that I have here and apply this in the cloth. So if you notice now, this is getting closer to what I really need. Okay. So right there. And what I would like to do is start applying this color now, right here. Okay. So this is the background color. And I'll just quickly apply this so that there's so that we can see what we have in front of us. Okay, so let's just do that. And then, this is where the shadow is going to be, obviously. So let's just put that color. All right, so here. is the background and then this could be a fold line here which is really not that obvious so I'm really not going to worry about it right here let's just apply this get rid of the brightness of the blue can take a little bit of that and just soften the edges of this painting soften the edges of the red bell pepper okay and I can take a little bit of that red and just work it into my blue that would be okay So let's just get this shade in real quick. Okay. There. I can just brighten this up just a little bit because that's where the light's coming from. So I'm taking the white. Okay, so before I start working on the shadow, there's um, a few more things that I'd like to do to the bell pepper. And one is to apply my highlight. So, so here is a highlight here. And there, there's another one here. And sometimes you can go and just soften. And sometimes you can soften the edge of the highlight. That will look so much better. And um, let's also put a highlight right there and right there. Now, shadow time but before I do the shadow there's this little corner right here and I see the background seeping through that okay all right so the shadow now I will use black with the blue that I have so if you notice I took this black and applied it 
to this ultramarine blue color that I had and the shadow color will be more like this. Right there, maybe we can take a little bit more. Ultramarine, just go underneath. Okay, so right here. And just enclose this area a little bit. Okay, and now I want to give the shadow a little bit of a shape, okay? So right here is a little lighter. And if you notice, shadows usually where they start from, um, it's, it's usually a harder edge, like about right there. So I like to do that and maybe lighten it just a little bit and also right here as well just lighten this area and create this hard edge right there where the shadow starts from and just go back and soften right there and when you soften you're cross hatching right there so I'm making this orange color with blue in it as my complement and then it gives me this gray shade of color and I would like to take that and just apply it on top just about right there okay and that will help this lemon to have more of a 3d uh, this than it does right now okay so right there just add some warmth here and down here I want to soften this area now and then I'll come back and put that hard edge back in it's really important to keep your edges soft There is the darkest dark. Okay. Okay, let's just bring one more thing here. There. About right there there and here well as you can see I'm almost done and I just want to work on the background so I'm taking ultramarine blue with a little bit of black and also cadmium red so i'm creating a warmer foreground right there where the light's coming from so if i were to lighten this foreground it'll look so much better because of perspective and if I want to get my titanium white just go ahead and work that in right there okay now also this area is a little bit light so let's just go ahead and paint this bottom area and I 
as we recede just about right there where the fold line is right above that it's a little lighter if you notice okay I know we have some folds right there but if you were to just disregard the folds this area would be a little lighter now as it goes up it gets dark so the foreground right there it's light as it recedes to the fold line it's going to get a little bit darker so let's just make that very subtle if you notice let's make this area a little light so it'll look like it's further back because that's what it is it's further back so I hope you're enjoying this uh, little tutorial on color again we covered our warm colors except for blue um, blue is considered this ultramarine blue I should say is considered uh, to be a warm color so but other than that um, if you were to use your warm colors this is what you'll get so one last thing I would like to do and that is to put our darkest dark right here I'm using black Well, thank you once again for watching this episode of Artist Life. If you enjoyed today's episode, go ahead and subscribe and turn on the notification since we have a lot more color videos coming up. So until next time, happy painting. Bye.